So tell us the story of this queue. <laughs> Thomas. Uh, well, this, this one uh, was one that uh, Mark Carlos was busy doing important work. Um, uh, I was told by the editor, Michelle Tesoro, that Scott wanted to play this um, just clock only. This was just gonna be no, no music at all for this entire scene. And so um, basically I, I watched it and just felt like it was a, a little long for the clock to carry to carry that long, you know, for carry the scene entirely. So I just started um, taking different stems, different bits from different pieces of music that Carlos had delivered so far and just started constructing, um, you know, what I thought I wanted, I wanted the clock to be the lead actually. And, and even for me, the mix is a little low. To me, the music was sort of like a backing band to the to the clock, ideally. And um, but um, so I I just for, I, that that cue is basically composed of about three or four different pieces of music of Carlos. Just the the bass stem from one cue, the the synths from another, the strings from this, and kind of cobbled together. And um, to do that, I just. Try, tried it one day, put it together, and, and it seemed to work. And, and Scott liked it. I, I originally I had some booms on Borgoff that were a little over the top, so those those went away. And um, and I originally I had spotted it to that the music would tail out as the tear fell down Beth's cheek, and then it would just leave her sitting in silence with the clock again going. But Scott wanted to carry it a little further um, in that way. But it was just. Uh, one of those things that the way we work together is just to, you know, kind of all pitch in and, uh, and and see what works. And then then with the clocks, basically, I took the original clock and um, pitched it up an octave, pitched it down an octave, um, added a few other ticking type elements and process those for that one moment before she makes her last move. But um, other than that, it was just sort of something I presented to Carlos and uh, said uh, hey, hey hope, hopefully i saved you a couple of minutes <laughs> <laughs> that he did i mean the reason we also played the previous game is because a lot of it is based from the benny q you know you can see the source and then but it the point i really do want to stress is that without tom this wouldn't exist like i i was really focused on like all these other cues yeah. and he's like i really want to he wasn't like i want to take this on he was like this needs music and i was like bro i can't i don't have time right i get they haven't asked me for music for this, so please, you know? And, right. <laughs> and so, and the fact is he really, you know, once I started hearing it, I was like, oh my God, this is so cool. Because, and, and there's a moment, like for me, the cinematic thing where all the cue works, it's weird. And the things you focus on that you love in movies, like for me, there's a thing in Harry Potter and in, in the original, the first one, uh, the Sorcerer's Stone, I think. And there's a moment when this actor turns around when he's looking at the wand shop and the guy's looking at the wand, looking for wands, and all of a sudden he, he turns around and there's a long shot of him and it's just a silhouette and he goes, I wonder, right? And he turns around. For some reason, that little moment is the whole movie for me. And it, and it, it doesn't make sense, but to me it does. This moment when, when Tom sent that, what he had done with the stems and how he started to arrange it and the brilliant stuff with the clocks that he did. But that moment, there's a moment when Benny Watts is doing this in the shot, or I guess from the side, you would see it, you know, and, and, and I heard the way the silence was playing and the clock was playing. I was like, Oh my God, this is so cool. So it wouldn't exist without Tom, you know, and that's one of the cool things where music editors really do save you really do, do bring something to the table that you alone would never, I would have never, ever thought of this scene without what Tom did. So 